Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to show you how to fold a little paper bag like this one. So I find these really useful for Christmas gifts, um, especially if you've got something really small and maybe a little bit valuable, like a gadget or, or some jewellery or something, and you want to like elevate it, make it look nice and fancy. Pop it in one of these with a little bit of tissue paper and it makes it look really nice. I know you can buy these from the shop, but there they'll cost you maybe a couple of pounds. Um, but you can make your own for a few pence just with some fancy paper, uh, a little bit of twine or ribbon and some glue and that's all you need. So today I'm going to show you how to fold a gift bag like one of these. They fold flat and then you can use a nice little piece of ribbon or twine for a handle and they make really lovely wrapping for a special gift. So these two bags were made with paper the size, the same size as A4 paper, so around about 20 by 30 centimetres, if you don't know what that is. Um, but you can make these any size you like, depending on how big your paper is. So here is a much bigger one that I made out of a sheet of wrapping paper. For this you'll need some kind of paper, and I've got these lovely handmade papers that I've had for years that I've kind of been putting off doing something with. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of these. Yeah, you can make these out of wrapping paper, you can make them out of brown paper, whatever you've got really. I've also just got some plain card. This is to reinforce the base of the bag, so it doesn't need to be anything special, you don't you won't see it. I've also got a selection of twine and ribbons to make the handles out of, and you'll need some tools. I quite like using a cutting mat, a ruler and a knife for cutting my card and paper because it gives me a really nice straight edge and it helps me to get things really nice. I like detail so I like things to be nice and rectangular and all the edges to match up. So this is really helpful but there's absolutely no reason you couldn't just use a pair of scissors instead. I've also got a pencil and I've got a hole punch. So this is a fancy crafting hole punch but the kind that you put holes in uh, paper to put in files works just as well. And I've got some glue. So I've got my fancy paper and I'm going to lay it out. Like I said, you can make these any size you like. Um, I'm using a piece of A4 paper as a guide. So let's line that up with the edges and then I can use a pencil to draw around it. way down that end to stop it curling up while I cut through it. So I want to create a tube out of my uh, fancy paper with the nice side on the outside. I'm going to take my cut edge and I'm just going to fold it over a little bit. So just over a centimetre, just like that. And then I'm going to bring up the other edge to meet so I can make sure my corners line up and my sides are nice and straight. And then I can pull my finger across, nip it and then spread it out either way, make sure it's nice and flat. So now I can apply some glue down this edge. And then when I fold my paper over again, it should all stick nice and neatly. And there I've got a little paper tube that's open at either end. Now I've got to decide how deep I want my bag to be. You can measure this if you want, but I'm just going to do this by eye. So I'm going to take the fold that I made, which you can see here, and make another fold a little bit further away from it, maybe about four or five centimetres, however deep I want my bag to be. I'll make sure it's nicely lined up at the bottom and flatten that out. And then from here, if I just push my fingers towards the other edge and I can flatten that out as well. So now I've got a kind of rectangular box shape. Again, open at both ends still. 
I want to have some nice neat creases down the side of the bag. So I can just use my fingers to encourage that to fold inwards, just very gently, like that. And then I can match my corners up. I'll first do that side and then this side. And then I should be able to put it down and smooth that out all the way along. So I get something that looks like this. Let's do the same on the other side. Match that corner, match that corner, and press it down like that. Now I've got a little lift there, which I think is just the uh, paper. Um, because it's handmade paper, um, it gets little bits like that in it. So let's just encourage that to stay closed. I need the final bag, I need these creases to be kind of going inwards down that way. But to fold the bottom, I need them to go out the other way. So I'm just going to push them back the other way. There we go. My paper has got a lovely kind of deckled edge, so it's got a really natural edge along there. So I don't want to fold that edge, I want to fold the bottom edge, which is the edge that I cut. So I'm going to place this down flat. And then um, I want to fold up the bottom. Now it's important that I fold up the bottom more than the depth of the sides. So if you want to measure that, that's a good idea, but you can just do it by eye. So my sides are about four centimetres there. So I know that I need to fold in the bottom more than four centimetres. So if I do it around about here, that's about five and a half centimetres. So they'll overlap by about a centimetre and a half at the bottom. If you do this shorter than the depth of the sides, you'll find that it doesn't meet in the middle. So I'm going to fold up one side and the other. I'm going to pinch down the sides, but I'm not going to put too much pressure on here because I don't, um, you'll end up with a line at the bottom of your bag. Um, and I don't want that to be too prominent. So just a little pinch at the sides is all you need. And then what I'm going to do is flatten out the bottom of the bag. Make sure it goes nicely into the corner. And make sure that you, there's a crease line along here. You want to make sure that that lines up with the fold of the bottom of the bag there. So now I want to fold this bit over here. And for this, I, I can see my crease line down here and down here. And I want the corners here where that folds over to match those crease lines like that. And then I'll bring the other side over to match it, something like that. Now I'm going to open this out and apply glue to these triangular areas here. and to this bit right on the edge where it overlaps. And fold these bits in and fold that bit over and it should all be nicely stuck. So now it's time to reshape our bag. So you should just be able to kind of pop it open and use your fingers gently to encourage that crease down the side again. You'll find that it doesn't go all the way to the bottom uh, without a little bit of encouragement. So I'm just going to leave that for now, we'll do the other side, and then we'll come back to the bottom. I want to encourage the bottom of the bag to form a nice little triangle there. So if it needs pushing out and just gently squeezing, then that's a good thing to do. So just gently squeeze and get those corners nice and sharp. 
and then I've got this crease line along here so when I press the bag flat like that it should all fold nice and neatly like that. For the next bits are optional I want to reinforce the bottom of the bag so that it keeps its shape when I put stuff in it and I can measure it so it's four centimeters so if I make it three and a half then that will give me a little border and this way it's about ten centimeters so if I make it about nine and a half then that will give me um, the right kind of shape. Just going to use the scissors for this Then I apply some glue to here, open up the bag and I can just drop this in, make sure it's glue side down. Get it positioned right and then I can press it down and glue it all in place like that. So I'm going to need some handles so I've picked some twine and I'm just going to decide how long I want them, make sure that I've left enough room for a tying knot. So I'll cut one, two, and then I want to make some holes in the bag here. You can do this by eye, but I'm going to measure it. I'm just going to use my ruler and put a little pencil mark on there. I just want to make sure that um, where I punch the holes is going to be beyond this uh, this fold in here because I don't want to go through four layers. I just want to go through two. Let's do the same on the other side. And then I've got a fancy hole punch to make the hole with. But if you don't if you've got a rubber and you put it underneath and then use the pointy end of your pencil and you can go through and make a hole like that. I always get this the wrong way around every time. There we go. And then put the twine through and then make a knot big enough so that it doesn't go back through the hole. So I might need to tie it a few times. Might be enough. Yeah, that's good. There we go. So if you're working with really thin paper or you want to make a bigger bag, then the only difference that I would make is I'd fold the top down. It just reinforces it and helps keep its shape. So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, then do subscribe. I'm an artist and printmaker, and this channel is mainly about art, uh, but I do also do some craft projects and tutorials like this one. So I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.